Dozens of people attended a vigil tonight to mourn a 16 year old boy who was shot and killed at the Ohio State House one week ago. Roderick Harper was found with a gunshot wound last Sunday at the northwest corner of the building. Officers tried life saving measures, but Harper died at the scene. Tonight, people at the vigil lit candles to honor Harper's life and called for an end to gun violence. Harper was a student at Licking Heights High School. Firearms have become the leading cause of death for kids in the U.S., and that's according to the Centers for Disease Control. Local pediatricians say it's an issue that needs to be treated as a public health crisis. NBC4's Jonathan Jackson joins us now live from the newsroom with more on what medical experts are saying about children and gun violence. Jonathan? Audrey, the latest data from the CDC shows that firearms not only surpassed motor vehicles as the leading cause of death for children, but that those numbers are steadily growing. And pediatricians say these, these reports are a massive health concern. In the wake of several mass shootings, doctors and pediatricians are emphasizing new data from the CDC, showing that in 2020, guns became the number one killer of children in the United States, surpassing other causes of death, including cancer, poisoning, and motor vehicles. When you really look at the statistics, it's it's not the mass shootings. You know, it's the everyday. That's Dr. Derek McClellan, a pediatric specialist with Central Ohio Primary Care. According to the report, nearly two thirds of U.S. children who were killed by guns in 2020 were homicide victims. And it's these numbers that has him and other health officials concerned that gun violence involving children is becoming a public health crisis. We can make change. You know, we've we've done good things with limiting tobacco use. We've done things, you know, in pediatrics about SIDS and, and safe sleep habits and car seat safety and things like that. Which is why he says gun safety and awareness has now become a topic of conversation between him and his patients. Just to ask those questions and just to remind parents that, that yeah, just because you've talked about it doesn't mean you can't double check and make sure it's locked up. Now, unlike most products in the U.S., federal laws do not require safety standards be designed onto guns, another factor which concerns many doctors and pediatricians when it comes to children and gun safety.